The 777 has a four-part interphone communications system. The system includes a flight interphone system, a cabin interphone system, a passenger address system, and a service interphone system. The flight and service interphone systems are similar to the 747, but with some minor differences. If the ground crew is not monitoring the flight interphone system, the pilot can alert them with a call signal. To do this, first select Cabin Interphone from the menu page on the center CDU. Selecting the Cabin Interphone prompt displays the Cabin Interphone main menu page. We'll talk about the rest of this page and the other Cabin Interphone pages in a minute. But for now, call the ground crew by selecting Ground Crew. <coughs> An alert horn on the APU ground control panel sounds when calling the ground crew. The ground crew can also call the pilots. These are the flight deck indications when the ground crew is calling. Selecting the interphone position on the mic interphone switch or pushing the flight interphone transmitter select switch resets the call light and removes the communications alert message from ICAS. Additionally, for anti-hijack and other security purposes, all flight deck conversations can be monitored any time by the ground crew through an area microphone on the flight deck. To monitor this microphone, the ground crew uses the cockpit voice interphone jack on the APU ground control panel. No action by the pilots is necessary. The service interphone switch allows independent operation of the service and flight interphone systems. With the service interphone switch on, all the service interphone stations are connected to the flight interphone system. The 777 cabin interphone system is used for communications between the flight deck and the cabin. There are two ways to initiate communications with the cabin. You can use the audio control panel to select the cabin interphone system and the cabin interphone pages on the center CDU to initiate calls. You can also use the telephone type handset at the end of the aisle stand. When using the handset, first find the dial code for the desired station from the directory on the back of the handset. Then simply lift the receiver off the hook, enter the dial code, and talk. Only push the passenger address push to talk switch when making a PA announcement. The reset button resets the handset for another call. Now let's look at how the center CDU is used to initiate calls to the cabin. From the cabin interphone main menu page, the same page you used to initiate the call to the ground crew, you can speed dial any of these stations by simply pushing the line select key adjacent to the location to be called. For example, call the forward galley attendant station. The dial code and station location appear in the scratch pad automatically and end call displays. When the call is connected, the dial code disappears. Should a call be made to you during a current conversation,
The calling station appears in the call queue. Up to four unanswered calls can display in the queue. Terminate the current call by selecting End Call. When the call is terminated, the scratch pad blanks. After terminating the current call, you can delete calls in the call queue by first selecting the Delete key and then selecting the call to be deleted. Or you can speed dial a station in the call queue by pushing the Line Select key next to the desired station. You can speed dial additional cabin interphone stations through the cabin interphone directory. Display the cabin interphone directory. The cabin interphone directory provides access to cabin interphone subdirectories. A station is speed dialed by first selecting a subdirectory and then selecting a station. The cabin interphone directory page and each cabin interphone subdirectory page have a cabin interphone prompt which returns the CDU display to the cabin interphone main menu page. Calls can also be made manually from any cabin interphone page by keying the desired dial code into the scratch pad. To illustrate this, first terminate the call to door 3 left. Now enter the dial code for the door 2 right attendant station. Touch the highlighted key. If the entered dial code is valid, the dial code label displays in the scratch pad and send displays. With any cabin interphone page displayed, pushing the CDU decimal key displays the star symbol in the scratch pad. Now select Send to initiate the call to the door to right attendant station. Touch the highlighted key. Now terminate this call. Return to the Cabin Interphone main menu page. These are the indications when the cabin crew is calling you. Pushing the Cabin Interphone Transmitter Select switch answers the call, extinguishes the call light, and removes the ICAST message the same as with ground crew calls. An additional speed dialing feature is available to the crew. Pushing the Cabin Interphone Transmitter Select switch twice within one second places a priority call to a pre-selected cabin station. Now, let's look at the passenger address system. PA in use displays when the system is in use. PA in use is removed when the system is available for PA announcements. Select the PA subdirectory. Next, select the desired PA area. In this example, make an announcement to business class. Then select the cabin interphone transmitter select switch and key any microphone to make an announcement to the selected area. PA announcements are also made with the handset by entering the dial code and then holding the push to talk switch on the handset while transmitting. Beep. 
A chime sounds in the cabin area and over the passenger entertainment headphones to alert the passengers of the PA announcement. Selecting PA on the audio control panel and keying a microphone transmits to all PA areas regardless of CDU or handset selections. A selective calling or cell call decoder permits the calling of a selected airplane over normal VHF and HF frequencies. When the airplane has an incoming call on any of the VHF or HF radios, the communications alert message cell call displays and a chime sounds. A call light also illuminates on the audio control panels. The cockpit voice recorder microphone is located on the overhead panel. The cockpit voice recorder system continuously records flight deck area conversations and transmissions made through the audio control panels. The cockpit voice recorder is erased by pushing the erase switch located on the cockpit voice recorder panel. The erase switch only functions on the ground with AC power on and the parking brake set. Now let's look at an audio control panel failure. Should the captain's or the first officer's audio control panel fail, the observer's audio control panel is used as a backup. The observer's audio selector is used to connect either the captain's or first officer's hand microphone, headphone, boom microphone headset, oxygen mask microphone, speaker, and mic interphone switch to the observer's audio control panel. Make the selection that allows the captain to use the observer's audio control panel. Call the door for right attendant station. Either the CDU or the handset can be used. You have chosen to use the handset.